What's up guys, Jared the Toy Bro here, and today we have got a look at the 2017 San Diego Comic Con Loyal Subjects Thundercats Action Vinyl Exclusives. So Loyal Subjects are known for their blind box figures you've seen, well if you've seen a few of my videos I've done unboxings of the Masters of the Universe figures. They have Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, Ninja Turtles, Attack on Titan, maybe some others as well. I don't get too far into this line. Um, but I have quite a few at the same time. So these are the Comic-Con exclusives, and these obviously aren't blind box. These are individually blister-carded figures. They are in pretty collector-friendly packaging, and they have kind of a gimmick to them. So we're going to get actual releases in the fall in the blind box uh, setup that we're used to with this company. But these are all kind of different, and they're one-offs for the exclusives. So we've got a full team with... Lion-O, Chitara, Tigra, Panthro, and Mumra in a glow-in-the-dark fashion. And then we've got Metallic Weapons Lion-O. Now, there is a problem uh, with, with that particular setup of this figure. We'll get to that once we take them out. So let's pull them all out and take a closer look. All right, guys, so here they are out of the blister packaging. And the first thing I want to talk about is, like I mentioned, there is kind of an issue with two of these figures, technically. So we've got our glow-in-the-dark set, and then we have our metallic set. So this is the metallic lion -O. See anything wrong? There's nothing metallic about this guy, except for on the claw shield, he has kind of the eyelets on the grappling hooks are metallic. Now, the way I understand it is that the metallic figure is basically the retail release, but he was supposed to have metallic weapons. Well, if you look at the glow-in-the-dark lion -O, he has metallic weapons. So the issue here is that the glow-in-the-dark figure got the metallic weapons, but they also glow in the dark. So the way these figures work, and I'll, I'll demo the, the glow feature uh, better later on in the video, is that the entire figure glows. It's not just one particular part. You know, it's not specific paint. It's like they have kind of a uh, coating on them, and everything glows. And it's actually a pretty brilliant glow, too, as, as long as you charge them right. So the way it's going to have to work, if you want to kind of make it correct, is that you swap the weapons on the glow-in-the-dark and the metallic ones. So the glow-in-the-dark figure won't have any glow weapons, and the metallic figure will have glowing metallic weapons, if that makes sense. Not a big deal. It doesn't bother me. I was slightly confused when I actually got a hold of these, uh, and then I had to figure it out. It's not unique to my set, though. Apparently this is just, it was just an error, but at the end of the day, I don't really care. Just something to note, something to point out, especially when I uh, demo the glowing on the figures. So uh, let's take a closer look at these guys, and we'll kind of go through them all. There's, they're all basically the same in terms of articulation, so I'm only going to go through one, and then we'll look at what each figure comes with. We'll start with Mumra because he comes with nothing. Uh, the only, that's kind of the only problem I have with Mumra. I think he is my favorite of the bunch in terms of sculpt and just the general look about him, but I wish he would have come with like the Sword of Plundar or something. I think that would have been great. So everything is pretty much on ball, double ball pegs on these things, for the most part. So the heads can go all around. They've got a decent range of motion depending on, you know, what's on the back side of them. So Mumra's got his headdress, so he really can't go any further back. Arms can go all around, rotation, and then they have uh, wrist rotation as well. The waist is on a double ball peg, so they can they have a decent bit of uh, kind of wiggle and rotation in pretty much any direction. The legs are on ball pegs. They can move around. You really can't do a great deal with them, though, just because, you know, they're so small. So what are you going to do? And then the ankles are also on uh, pegs as well, so they can they can rotate. And you've got just a little bit of wiggle room up and down. It just kind of depends on the figure, though. But most of them do that because of how the feet are sculpted. So, I mean, this is pretty standard. It's par for the course for loyal subjects. They have articulation, so you can give them a little more life and character. But they're not... You're not full action figures. They don't have 30 points of articulation. You know, if they could, they would be ugly and unstable. So I'll take what I get here. Now, as far as the other figures, they all come with their kind of requisite accessories. So lion -O has the Sword of Omens, and he's got the Claw Shield. Tigra has his Bola Whip. Panthro has the Nunchucks, and I don't particularly like this accessory because because the chain is a static piece, so he really can only hold it like this, or you'd have to kind of set the chain over him somehow to kind of hang off his shoulder, maybe. So, 
I don't, I don't know. I don't have a better solution outside of giving it a rubbery chain or a metallic, uh, not metallic, but a, an actual chain chain. So I'm sure that would have probably cost it out on this figure. So I can't fault them for what they did if this is how they had to do it to get it out the door. But at the same time, he looks, I don't know, kind of goofy in my opinion. But he looks good overall. I just don't like the way he has to hold that. And then Shitara's got her, her bow staff. And as you can imagine, it's just a uh, standard like rod, basically. The glow-in-the-dark lino has the same accessories as the metallic lino. Metallic. Uh, they just they obviously have a different uh, paint sheen on them. The figures themselves are all pretty well sculpted. I think, you know, this is a very stylized line. I don't need to tell anybody that. Just just look at them. Very stylized, very uh, loyal subjects own style here. And, and I like them. I think, I think these lend themselves pretty well. The same way that the Motu figures lend themselves well to this style, the Thundercats do as well. Uh, they all look pretty good. Like I said, I think Mumra is still my favorite. I think he got a little bit of extra love in the sculpt department because he doesn't have an accessory. And they're all loaded with paint apps too. Every Every single one of them is just covered in paint. And one thing to note is that the glow-in-the-dark figures feel weird. And it's not because there's a problem. It's be, it's the stuff that's on them that glows. So every... They also kind of look a little muted. I don't know if that's coming through in the uh, in the camera. But, you know, you take a look at the Lino. This is the Metallic, so he should be the regular release Lino. And this is the glow-in-the-dark. You can see that the everything's a little softer on this guy. And everything's a little more vibrant on this one. And that's because he has the, the glow coating on him. So this one will glow and it's... Like I said, it's a it's a damn brilliant glow. It, they they are 100% glow in the dark. It's 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 pretty crazy to see them when they uh when they actually light up. Now, that's pretty much the crux of, of this whole thing. There's there's not a great deal to talk about. They all they all kind of do look very much like they're supposed to. I, I'm impressed with how how well they got the look down. I think um, as far as the cats go. Uh, Tiger is probably my favorite. I am biased, though, because he is my favorite Thundercat. So, you know, take that with a grain of salt. But, you know, Lino looks really cool. Chitara looks good. And Panthro looks really good. I just don't care for how his accessory sits. Chitara's got that wild mane of hair on her head. She's got the spots painted all over her. Very nice. And then they've all got the Thundercats insignia all over them, like they should. Uh, but I keep coming back to Mumra. I still think he's the, still think he's the best one. Tons of paint apps. Lots of sculpted detail. This guy looks like he jumped out of the show and was shrunk down to, what, three inches. So, yeah, very, very cool stuff. Now, for Lino in particular, we'll take just a few seconds and look at this. He does obviously come with another accessory. So, the hands will pop off, and you can pop on the claw shield. It's just, like I said, it's just a ball peg. So, you take it off and put it on. So, it's just something to note that you can... You can have him posed in different ways. I think the hands on both of mine, though, are probably going to come off because, you know, you got to have the claw shield on them. How can you not? All right, and here, like I said, here is the group uh, in their glowing mode. And you can see that I've swapped out the weapons. So we've got our glow-in-the-dark lino with the metallic weapons. We've got, well, with the, the non-glowing weapons, sorry. And then we've got the regular lino with the metallic weapons that also glow. So you can see they are just... They light up. They are really, really nice. Everything that, you know, could possibly glow on these figures is pretty much coated in that goop, whatever it is, to make them really glow. So I love this. I think it's fantastic. As I've said in other videos, a diehard Thundercats fan, I am happy to get new Thundercats stuff. This isn't exactly what I want. You know, I want the Thundercats action figures to come back. But I don't think we're going to get that, at least for a while. So I'm happy to get something. I don't really care for blind box stuff. Like, obviously, I've bought some of these before, and I've had videos of them. But I hate the chase aspect of blind box figures and the absurd prices that some of the Loyal Subject stuff fetches online. So I really hate to see what they're actually going to release when these hit actual retail. But to get these, knowing what I'm going to get, get the, the main core team and Mumra is a great start. Uh, probably paid a little too much for them because they are incredibly limited. But at the end of the day, I had to have them just being the Thundercats fan that I am. So if you are as big of a Cats fan as I am, you might want to track these down if you haven't already. But they will be coming to retail release in the blind box format in a couple months, I think. Maybe sooner. They haven't set a firm date. But I've heard fall. So who knows when that actually means for them. 
But for now, that is going to do it for this quick look at the Loyal Subjects San Diego Comic-Con 2017 exclusives. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think of these guys. And until next time.